the water is gone. We're in a drop. Out of nowhere, we've got video of it just starting to trickle through. Week two of filming in Utah has begun, and already we've had some big challenges we've had to overcome. Challenge number one, quick rewrite of some pretty important scenes. So we're gonna to talk to Ryan a little bit about that and how we overcame it. The challenge of getting water in the middle of a drought. And last but never least, this weird windstorm, like crazy wind kicking up dust everywhere and still having to shoot a scene in the midst of that. One of the first challenges that we encountered when we arrived in Utah, as we were filming the disciples going out two by two, one of our actors couldn't make it out because of COVID reasons. So while we were filming this market scene with Atticus, I ran into writer Ryan Swanson to talk to him about it. Do we try to move this scene and keep that act is that actor essential to driving the action? It's a big scene. It was a big shift for one of our actors to step in for the other, but we wanted to not just say, here, say this, this other actor's lines. We wanted to make those lines right. for him, you know, in three, four hours before. <laughs> so we, it was that fast. It was, it was like that fast. We were in before. transit and we got the message early in the day and we had to get it done by lunch. Do you ever look back? and regret that you had to change something? Or does it always seem to be, wow, this worked out better? I feel like the adversity always makes us find a better choice. This was a scene involving Atticus. So of course, we talked to Elijah Alexander, Atticus himself. I love connecting with the environment. So yeah. um, wherever we are, it's the first thing I do because it so much informs me as an actor. And it's very appropriate for Atticus as well because he's an observer by nature and he uses the environment to either camouflage, reveal when it needs to. This season, I'm spending a lot of time on horseback. I got to spend that time training uh, horseback riding yeah. and getting to know my horse. So season two gives us this big cliffhanger. Jesus comes out to do the Sermon on the Mount. Atticus has had such a fascination with Jesus and investigating him. How does Sermon on the Mount impact Atticus? He understands the gravity. He understands the magnetism of this peaceful prophet. Super curious, really intrigued by him. And uh, I think that that sermon is the first time that Atticus sees him in action and sees his potential for his influence. There's, there's a lot that really speaks to him in that speech. Eye for an eye, he understands. Turn the other cheek is a new, something really new for Atticus, but it makes sense. He's all about conflict management. I've heard some people say the centurion at the cross says, oh, truly this is the son of God. I think I've heard others theorize maybe he's the guy with the servant who needs to be healed. All just fan theories. Have they told you Atticus's destiny? Um, even if they had, I couldn't tell you. Right. And I can't tell them, <laughs> but they haven't. We all love seeing Atticus eating the apple or the grapes <laughs> or something in every single yeah, scene. Yeah. What is Atticus's favorite food? I think you're getting my favorite foods in the show. I mean, oh, I, I think he likes fruit. Fruit? Yeah. Yeah. Apples, sweet, apricots, nuts, grapes. And there are many reasons why he eats, but and I, that I won't go into. Of course, Atticus has to leave us with some air of mystery. And as the scene progressed into a night shoot, I got to say one of my absolute favorite things about this Jerusalem set is filming on it at night. But it did turn out that this, uh, this whole entire scene happened to be spoilers, so excuse everywhere where we cover up the spoiler. The scene that we are shooting is so special. It involves and and here. So you know what that means. Is this amazing set. I mean, isn't that just gorgeous? The set just looks so abundantly amazing. I can't underscore how amazing it is, everything that we're filming tonight. And what's your name again? And you are Oh my gosh, we got it. One of the big challenges that we had to overcome in Utah was bringing in water for an important scene during a drought. Three, four weeks ago, team comes through, scout and find the perfect location. They're gonna be washing some laundry, doing, I mean, water is a necessity. Wednesday, level's kind of like it is right now. Thursday morning, we get a report, the water is gone. Ranchers do this quite often. What they do is as a river flows through their property, they're allowed to divert the water into right. their property, water their fields, water their animals, whatever they need to do. So we're like, okay, well, that's what's happening. It's, it's these ranchers uh, upstream that are doing this, and it should open up. 
and we find out that's not the case. No, we're in a drought. So now we're like, well, we can't control the drought. So we were going to work on damming it on each side uh -huh. and bringing a water truck down and filling it up out of nowhere one day. I mean, they're down here working and we've got video of it just starting to trickle through. Yeah, and no, no rain had come. Now I know we're standing here now and it's sprinkling on yeah. us. Uh, but during that time, a few days ago, there hadn't been rain. So it wasn't like, oh my gosh, we got this bunch of rain. Here comes the water. What we've done is we went ahead and we've dammed it up just in case it dries out again or the, the flow stops. Yeah, yet again, here we are on the Chosen. <laughs> and something, <laughs> something weird happens, uh, uh, out of the norm happens. But then, of course, God always shows up. And this rain that we're experiencing literally as we speak, as we walked up, we all kind of laughed, right? That it's <laughs> raining right now as we're about I, I, to talk about as we're a dry about, 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 yeah, yeah. river. Yeah, we're talking about a drought. It yeah. was the end of the day, and yet another challenge we faced, the wind picked up out of nowhere. So we've got one last scene that we need to film today. And you would think it's a big scene because it's got all of the disciples, but it's super short. But this wind is insane. It has picked up out of nowhere. It is blowing like crazy. So the question is, with this wind, are we even going to be able to film this scene? And the best part of this wind, it has been so hot today. It feels so good. The worst part of this wind is it's kicking up all the dust and it just goes straight into the eyes and the mouth. We'll see if they'll do the scene. The wind, the dust were strong, but we were going to get that shot. I will say, I thought the wind was gonna make the scene way more difficult. And even though the dust makes the scene way more painful, the scene looks more amazing because of the wind. So all this wind, all this dust, and now there's a huge rainstorm coming in. Thankfully, we just wrapped right before it got here. So now the contest is, can they get all of the expensive camera equipment all wrapped up into safety before the rain actually gets here? Our time in Utah has been awesome. We saw the disciples going out two by two, and this week we encountered some challenges, some answers to prayer, and overall, it was a pretty awesome experience. So be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell by the subscribe button so you and I can continue hanging out together as we continue to explore season three.